It's football season here on Life and Fork, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make some buffalo chicken bites. They're not just your average chicken bites. These buffalo bites have a little bit of almond in it, and it's all healthy, and it's baked, it's not fried. And I'm going to toss it with a little bit of buffalo sauce, so stay tuned. First, is take our chicken breast, clean it off. Clean all the fat. You don't want none of that stuff. Whatever is fat on here will be fat on your belly. So make sure you clean that off. Get it nice and super clean. Next, we're gonna take it and get nice chunks. So what I'm gonna do is cut about a thumb, you see, one thumb, and then cut them into pieces, just like that, to make little bites. This will be a good little snack when you're having to the, your friends over or girlfriends, boyfriends, whatever, and watching football. It's a nice healthy snack so you can still stay on your macros and your diets if you're on that stuff if you're just trying to watch your weight. So there's one chicken breast. This is going to feed about two people just for like a little quick snack. Next you're going to take a little bit of kosher salt and just toss it. Next you're going to take Mrs. Dash's Chipotle Southwest Chipotle Salt Free. This is gonna give it just a little bit of bite. Same thing, just on your cutting board, that way you don't have to dirty more than one thing. The next one is your Cajun Spice. That is gonna add a little bit of flavor. Same thing, just on your board and toss it together with your hands. Get all the seasoning off the board, set it aside, and we're gonna move on to the next step. Next, you're gonna grab a sheet pan you're gonna put a little parchment paper or a little spray underneath before you put the parchment paper over. I should have said that first. And then you're gonna set that aside because it's gonna start the whole process. So there you go, that's how it looks when it has the parchment paper on. Just in case you're wondering, this is a half sheet pan. Your oven's already been set to 350. If it hasn't, set it now because you're gonna need it nice and hot before you pop these in. The longer these sit, the more moist and soggy they get. For this step, you're gonna need three things. First, all the way to my left is the parchment paper sheet pan. That's where you're gonna transfer over. From my left to my right, you got a little panko breadcrumbs with a little chopped almonds in it. You just add about, I would say, two cups of panko and a quarter cup of almonds. This is one egg with a little bit of water beaten up. This is what's called an egg wash. Next, you have a little bit of coconut flour. You can use almond flour also. I like that better than using, you know, all-purpose flour. It keeps it a little bit more healthy. You're gonna put your chicken into the flour and mix it all up. Making sure to evenly coat every piece. This is gonna help the egg stay on it. Now you're gonna shake and move to your egg. Shake it, shake it, shake it, move to your egg. Shake it, shake it, shake it, move to your egg. Here, we're gonna switch over to two hands. So God gave you two hands for a reason. So, right hand is gonna be in the eggs, left hand is gonna be in the breadcrumbs. So you're gonna move it around with your right hand, making sure not to get your left hand in the egg, because then, like always, this is gonna create a mess. Let it soak up a little bit to get all the flavors and to make sure it gets nice and wet, which is gonna help you with the breading. So now, one piece at a time, you're gonna add it in, Toss it back and forth, and it looks something like this. So there you go, nice breaded. And you're gonna do that for the rest. Throw some music on and just have fun with it. So there you have it. Now, what we're going to do is space them out evenly. This is going to help with the air in the oven getting around to get them nice and crispy. These are not fried, so you need every advantage possible to get them nice and baked and crunchy. So the oven's been set to 350. Now we're going to throw it in for about 15 minutes. All right, I think it's time to check on our chicken. So what we're gonna do now is go to the oven, make sure it's nice and golden brown, crispy, not too crispy, because you don't want to overcook, and pull it out and see where we're at. Look at that. I mean, it's nice and crispy, it's perfect. So now, we're gonna take a stainless steel bowl. We're gonna use 
for this one. Huh, Buffalo wing sauce, Sweet Baby Ray's. Yeah, they don't even make barbecue sauce. Not only make barbecue sauce, I should say, they also make buffalo sauce. So what we're gonna do is, just like how you would make hot wings, you put some of these in your bowl when they're nice and hot. You want it nice and hot so we can get some of that flavor. Throw a little bit, maybe two ounces, depends on how much you want. And now you're gonna do the fun part, toss. that aside. Now we're gonna make it look pretty because all food should look pretty. So next, we're gonna grab our plate. Grab our chicken strips, place in the middle, and start building up. your plate, make it look nice and pretty. Now, to garnish it, just two slices of lime. You can stand them up like this, make it look nice and pretty. Okay. Of course, you can add celery, and you can add a little bit of ranch on the side if you would like, or blue cheese. Blue cheese dressing would be really good. So there you have it. This is my Super Bowl, football, preseason, all season, every day, any day, healthy snack. I don't know what I call it. I would just say it's an almond crusted chicken buffalo bite. I think that sounds good. So hopefully you guys try it, enjoy it, modify it, send me a picture, let me know what you think. If you can make it better, let me know. I would love to see it. Uh, stay tuned to next week for another episode. Leave me any comments down below. Hit subscribe, share the video, help this channel grow. We're trying to get better as we go. So if you like the format that I'm shooting right now and the way I'm talking and everything like that, I hope it's getting better. I'm trying to improve as we go. Love you guys. Till next time. Love you. Bye. Something that you never think Wake up and nothing's wrong Just get ready for work